Hi everyone, in this video, I would like to talk about digital entrepreneurship and this video, I will cover different parts with the importance, the examples and the skills that are required for the digital entrepreneurship. And I will end it up with the most frequent questions that are asked or search for digital entrepreneurship. There is no doubt we have seen in the, especially in the last two years, how important has become the digital economy. The OECD states like digital economy has a potential to enhance productivity, income, and social well-being. And in my opinion, what we have seen in the last years and people merging and, and jumping into being more digitalized, there is no doubt that the jobs, the workforce of the future, it's aiming towards a digital economy. It makes it easier to go and work for another company or to build a company that hires people from some other parts of the world and how the workforce from many other parts of the world can enrich the existing companies or new companies that are built up. So therefore we have that this big importance or this creation of the importance of this new digital entrepreneurship and these new ventures. So which are or some examples of ways that new entrepreneurs or uh, people who are already uh, inside a company and want to do these intrapreneur ventures inside already existing companies or new entrepreneurs that are aiming for different business ideas that they, they can start in this digital economy. And some examples and that I will explain uh, that in depth later. I will start with the software as a service. We also have the e-commerce stores, app developments, the affiliate marketing that could be also a digital entrepreneur venture, freelancing, also content creation, online courses, and social selling. Now we'll start with the software as a service. And this, we have seen the rise of plenty of, so of software apps or web apps that are becoming available. For example, this presentation is, was done with Canva and Canva it's a uh, software as a service that helps non-designers to create better designs for posts for social media, presentations, corporate presentations, videos, and many more creative assets. So in this example, we have Canva as one of the uh, most popular software as a service that it's available. And as Canva, there are plenty of many other businesses and new companies that are being created thanks to technologies and cloud technologies that can be easily scaled as they grow, they can scale up. And another example is Wiglot. Wiglot for website developers can be more common since Wiglot is a translation as a service. So it can be called, you can use Wiglot for WordPress, Shopify, Webflow, and many other platforms that can be used for e-commerce or for content. And Wiglot can help those websites to be translated in many languages. Since it's a software as a service, someone can easily install it, the web developer or the web owner can install this plugin and then do the the translation by himself. So that's the thing that software as a services are creating. They are giving this ease of use of, of technology so that people can have access to them. And entrepreneurs who are creating and seeing these opportunities in the market, they are developing these apps or web apps so that it can be used for their markets. Other example of digital entrepreneurship is uh, e-commerce stores. And we have seen already from long time, probably more than it's already 30 years, 25 years and stuff since the internet has been being developed. And there are many platforms that can be used for e-commerce stores. And what e-commerce 
has brought to small, medium, and big companies is to reach new markets. So companies that are already using platforms such as Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, PrestaShop, and many so others, they are opening their portfolio to new regions so that they can easily expand. So that has been one of the main advantages of having e-commerce stores and for those new digital entrepreneurs, putting up their product to the market has become easier and it's not just limited to one region or to one city. It's expanding to plenty of other places of the country or even for the world if they are also starting to export their products. So this has been one of the main advantage of relying on e-commerce stores or even also to use and rely to already existing platforms such as Amazon or in Latin America, Mercado Libre. So there are plenty of opportunities that new entrepreneurs are seeing and already using on these new e-commerce stores as digital entrepreneurs. Since the use of smartphones, app development has become already an established opportunity for web developers and app developers. There are many of industries that are already being used or, in, or fully developed, such as the gaming industry that has also opened a market to be developed for creating new types of games that can easily be monetized through in-store purchases in the app. And this also is, has become a uh, big opportunity for developers to see what apps should be developed. There are plenty of apps that have been in the last 10 years being developed. And for sure, there are, will be more apps that can spot niche opportunities. And that's what I think that the apps in the future should be focused since there are already too, too much apps on the apps marketplace such Google Play or the App Store from, from Apple. And here, since digital entrepreneurs should also do this research and investigate for the, if in such in the case of the apps, which are niche apps that can be can spot an opportunity to be fully exploded. And we have also the affiliate marketing. And what we have here, it's a combination between already established brands or brands that are looking and aiming to expand their growth. And then we can see already these recommendation opportunities for their already existing users so that they can have in return a commission. This also has become an opportunity to build up or create new entrepreneurs who are probably more aiming on a sales oriented career that they will be more motivated to just earn in the commission of, of pushing the product or pulling some new customers. And through thanks to the different platforms that can be used in, in internet, such as social media, their own websites, email lists, and entrepreneurs can work with already established companies to build up that relationship. And also with this current change of these last years and with the boom of home office and work from wherever you want, as many people start to see this advantage of digitalization and the advantage of, for example, not spending too much time on the traffic or waking up later so that they can just go to the meeting probably at 10 a.m. in the morning and instead of just waking up and getting ready to it, many people have been seeing this advantage on the home office that some others have already thought, okay, if what if I just turn to be a freelancer and start to search for my own clients? And that's another a big advantage of digital entrepreneurship that freelancing for those people who are more aiming to have their own control of their own time has also become a great, great opportunity. And since now companies are adopting this more flexible and agile work type, 
then also freelancers can see more opportunities or there are even more tasks to be completed just by that time or the or in combination with already knowledge a, that the freelancer has and another advantage that gives to companies to hire people from just another parts of the world or freelancers in in the opposite to have clients and become these digital entrepreneurs and get clients from all around the world. And there is no doubt that content creation, it's, it's become now like new careers with also with the recent boom of TikTokers and uh, Instagram Reels. Content creators can also be said to be digital entrepreneurs since they are creating new videos, new content like in texts, images that can either educate or entertain the audience and in therefore the way that they monetize can be also in combination through affiliate marketing or, or also through the sponsorship or ads of some other companies. So also content creators generate this partnership with already established brands. There, are, there is also this influencer marketing that gives this advantage of they already have the knowledge in a certain topic. They are exploding it. They are entertaining the people and they're gaining millions or hundreds of views. And that's what brands are looking for to what probably what brands are not really good at. They do this, create this partnership with the content creators or also called influencers. Online courses is another opportunity for digital entrepreneurship. And there are already really good established platforms such as Coursera or Udemy that are platforms that are already set up so that people who has a certain knowledge or a specific knowledge in different types of topics can create also their videos, which is also part of a combination of content creation. But in this part or in this way to teach and to give and show that their knowledge. Also the opportunity is to build the own platform of the online courses, but also here also requires, and I will talk later about some digital entrepreneurship skills to really grow up the, and expand the business. And also we have social selling. Here, the focus could be more on an intrapreneurship style or way because social selling is also being and relying and taking leverage on the already established social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn especially. And social selling has this focus on the B2B area. Here, and I, what I have experienced is that probably mostly in the B2B uh, industries, companies have this problem of really connecting or how to create engage, engaging content since sometimes the products itself, if we think about just a industry or probably a motor or any pro other auto or car part, probably just creating a video of itself, if it's not has a really awesome feature, probably for a big mass audience, it won't really cap the attention. Therefore here in social selling, building up the brand ambassadors could be helpful for the already big corporations so that they can show their expertise on their site from the company and then that they eventually have this, create this interaction with potential customers and build up these leads that further can be converted to a business itself for the brand. And now I'm going to talk about the digital entrepreneurship skills because regardless of the venture that it's wanted to be aimed, there are a set of skills that are required to be further developed, probably not in depth. That is why it's important also to, to get a team that can help, but at least to have a minimum knowledge if someone is already aiming for digital entrepreneurship and for starting and for my experience, digital marketing and Digital marketing, it's a skill 
that can be further developed, self-trained, or have a little, at least a little bit of knowledge, such as in topics with SEO, the search engine optimization, if they are aiming to build their also their own website, how to grow it organically through search engines. There is also the search engine marketing, how to use their own platforms, like for example, Google Ads, and also in the case of Bing for Microsoft, how to use or how that at least they can help to generate that traffic. Probably, and, and if we discuss it here with probably more digital-oriented entrepreneurs, generated traffic probably is one of the main pains, plus also doing or creating the conversions and generating the leads. So those things are, are skills that must be at least have some knowledge of how they work so that the entrepreneurs can really know how to improve the number of viewers or visitors in the website. Also the knowledge of email marketing, the knowledge of content creation and content marketing, how can it help? Since digital marketing can be very broad for a digital entrepreneurship or entrepreneur who is already starting, this might be a bit confusing since there are many of areas where the digital marketing can go. But at least having a minimum knowledge of how it might work can help the digital entrepreneurs of what areas can be worked and what can be either outsourced with a freelancer or by hiring another employee. Another digital entrepreneurship skill that has to be developed is the digital business architecture. Because if the entrepreneur is aiming to have his own platform and his own website, then he has to really focus on how eventually he will create the content and how he will manage to do the further develop the e-commerce. Here in the case of digital business architecture, and if I take as example how even Google is organized, we can already see that Google has plenty of apps. We have the main search app, what is mainly Google known for, but with the develop of time, with the pass of time, Google has also developed in maps and they have also created and helped the, the whole map, the world mapping environment. And also it, for them created also a new revenue opportunity to use the Google My Business and to push more ads there. So there is a part of the business architecture, how to not just rely on your main or core, but also how you can further develop new innovations that also can spot the opportunities or, or also serve the opportunities and serve the markets now. And we can also see the new apps that, for example, Google is developing, such as such as the documents, and they also have their spreadsheets, presentations, and we have now Google Slides. So as we have probably seen this, and it's uh, easier to spot how it has changed through that time, the business architecture of companies. So also entrepreneurs has to have this idea of where does he want to go or she wants to develop the business in the future. That's why it's important. Elevator pitch, it's another digital entrepreneurship skill, especially for those who are aiming to get some funding or to get some investment from you know, angel investors. Since spotting and sending and putting out the idea just in bigger and words can be really hard and it should be in a short manner that it can really catch the attention. So for digital entrepreneurs who are aiming to go big and go even to stock markets, then really being convinced and sure of their ideas, it's another important entrepreneurial skill. We also have, and then I already mentioned the human resource management, because if as digital entrepreneurs may start by their own, at some point, if they keep growing, they will need some help. And here relies the importance of knowing what are the weaknesses of the entrepreneur and to recognize what the entrepreneur needs or where does he need help. Therefore, eventually how to rely 
and trust the team so that the entrepreneur can further grow the business. Also creativity, since in the digital world, there are almost uh, no limit for creativity because digital in, in the digital world, and I say there is a space in, for building something new every day or every moment. And we can see it and that with the pass of time, what we already probably have thought that it's probably everything invented or created. Well, we see new types of content, new types of apps, new types of services. So also in the digital entrepreneurship gives that opportunity to show that creativity. And last, another important digital entrepreneurship skill is the income generation, because since also the traffic generation in the digital world, it's really important for any business, also the income generation and being able to convert better will give also the advantage to keep growing. So a good digital entrepreneur that is able to have better conversions and to be able to source or generate different income sources will also give to the entrepreneur this opportunity to keep growing eventually. And some of the frequently asked questions are that how do you become a digital entrepreneur? And basically you can just like what I'm doing right now is just grabbing your microphone and start talking. That could be uh, an opportunity for the podcast people who are now, we are seeing the big boom of the podcasts by just starting grabbing your phone, recording your own video and starting and see where do I can be monetizing? How can I be helping people? Where do, where do I can I spot an opportunity on the market? And okay, how can I serve? If I don't know how to build a WooCommerce store, a Shopify store, well, I just go to Google and search for how to build a Shopify store. There is almost no limit here to start. What it's most important is to be constant so that the digital entrepreneur can be growing through time. And also is the question, why is digital entrepreneurship popular? The opportunity to be an entrepreneur in nowadays, it's really easy. It's faster to just bring up an idea, to do that research. There are already keyword research tools that can help to spot those opportunities. And it makes really popular to be a digital entrepreneur because you can be expand it to the whole world really easy by just having a creative idea and just spotting and serving and entertaining and further developing the idea. So I invite you to visit my website for more information. I have more blog posts about entrepreneurship, about digital marketing, personal career, and also personal development that I will be keep adding. I hope that this video helped you. If you have some questions, some comments, don't hesitate to write down. Thanks for watching.